Good morning, family. It is about 7 a.m. Rachel is still sleeping, and I'm going to let her sleep. Normally, I would get her up so that we could do our little intro thing, but I want to let her sleep. It's been a long couple of days. She's going to get up early tomorrow morning, and then uh, tomorrow afternoon, we're headed down to the Keys for a couple of days of camping. It's going to be fun because we'll be on the water for with our RV. Uh, so we're going to let her sleep a little bit, especially because we have our live stream with our Zoom uh, for our Patreon and our channel members tonight, and I'm really excited about that. Uh, so I'm going to start off my day with a couple of these Hydration Pluses from Redmond Relight. And I'm also going to have a couple of these Muscle Recoveries. And uh, then also I have inside of my water bottle here, I have a giant squirt of the Keto Chow Electrolyte Drops. I really miss having my Zip Fizz in the morning like this. Uh, usually that just gets me going, but between the keto chow and then also the redmond relight it's been pretty good so should be good for today uh we're probably gonna have hamburgers or ground beef later on today and we'll check with you when i get home hey what's up family i'm rachel and I'm Joe. And we are Two Crazy Ketos. And here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews and we talk about different keto topics. And then every Monday, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch, where we just talk about what's going on in our lives for today. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, twocrazyketos.com. That's where you can find all of our recipe videos. Now, we do upload five new videos every single week. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I'm terrible at being Joe, but that's okay. I'm Rachel and I'm one half of two crazy ketos and that's all I need to be. So it is Saturday morning and as an adult, there it's there's no cartoons first. There's laundry first, and there is fill the Berkey first, and there is vacuum the floor first, um, and then cartoons. But I'm excited this morning because I get to go to my mom's house because Joe and Anthony have a bunch of games, and I have a morning free, so I get to have coffee over at my mom's house, which I totally love and really look forward to. You need this in your life, coffee with a friend, and my bestie happens to be my mom, so... I love it and she makes the best coffee in the world so pick your friends really well make sure that you pick a friend who knows what they're doing around a coffee machine you'll never be upset about that so we're gonna head over there of course I'm taking flip the flask with me I also want to head over to Walmart in a little bit because I am completely out like I'm the person who is just like taking a q-tip and getting every last drop out of my makeup but I'm officially out of my makeup. I do use CoverGirl Olay Simply Ageless. Some people ask, you know, what kind of foundation and stuff do I use? Um, I'm number 210. I'm a classic ivory. I'm, I'm pretty pale skinned. And I really love this stuff. I think that as I get older, I really want to use wet foundation. Like even, I, I, I never use powder cover up because it just cakes into every laugh line and wrinkle and not pretty, but that's okay. This stuff is really good and I think it's pretty affordable. I've been meaning to head over to, to like fancy places like Ulta or um, go into the mall or something, but it's just so hard for me to pull the trigger on expensive makeup, even though I know I would look better if I did. Um, I'm also gonna start the day with some Hydration Plus and a little energy boost. I still feel like I am recovering for so much exercise on Thursday. It was great, but my body was like, wait a second, why did we just climb? I think it registered as 10 flights of stairs and then 15 miles of walking. So that was just a kind of a shock to the system, a good one. And I thought it was interesting. If I had set out this morning, like I'm gonna do 10 flights of stairs and 15 miles of walking, I would be like, ew, no, I'm not doing that. But when you're doing something fun, 
you don't even care about it. Like you don't even notice until the day is over. Did I feel tired at the end of the day? Yes. But I didn't feel whiny and complainy like I usually am when I have to do exercise. So find something you like doing. I think that, oh, here comes charity. Oh yeah. All right. No, that's fine. That's fine. Um, I find that like if I go to a museum or I walk the mall or any of that kind of stuff, it just makes getting in movement more fun. So, but I am in need of a little bit of an energy boost and I'm so thankful for these tablets. I can't even tell you how much I love them because I went ahead and brought some unflavored Redmond sticks with us to Universal Studios and I drank them because I thought, well, this is fine. I'll just put it in your water. But when you're used to a flavor and then you put unflavored into your water bottle, you're like, ew. It, it was a lot like when you expect to get soda and you forget that you put like unsweetened tea in your bottle and you take a big sip and it's just like, that was not what I was expecting. And it's very disappointing. So um, I'm kind of giving my hair a little bit of a break to just kind of dry on its own. But yes, it is very curly and crazy looking. So but that's okay. Um, so yeah, we're going to get this day started and we'll see you in the next clip. Okay. This is going to be TMI right up front. You may want to just skip to the next segment of this video if you don't like TMI things, but I share everything with you guys. So here goes. I have had to add something extra to my, my list for Walmart, not just makeup, but I need maxi pads. And this is not the maxi pads that you buy when you're transitioning into menopause, okay? If you've ever gone through that season, and I thought that I was going through that season and that was it, we were just headed to menopause, um, you get like an homage to a period and it's, it's really gross and dark colored and it's just a little bit of a period and it's basically like a going out of business sale period. Um, that is not what I'm experiencing right now. I am having a Rachel is 18 years old period right now. I have not experienced that in a really long time and I'm very surprised by it. And it made me think, wait a second, when was the last time I had a hot flash? It was before we started this challenge. I have not had a single hot flash since we started the, the BBB and E challenge. So for some people, this will really matter. I can totally understand when Dr. Barry has spoken before about how he's had patients that in their late 40s and early 50s suddenly got pregnant when they started eating the right thing. It's a thing. Like I can see where it is possible because I totally thought that I was out of the period business. Like I was completely planning on menopause and I was in the hot flashes season. I was not thinking about having a regular legit 20 somethings period, but like here we are. So interesting side effect from this challenge for somebody, this will be really important. But when you talk about trying to find the fountain of youth, a lot of times we're thinking about what our food is going to do to our hair and to our skin. And I, I feel like I am experiencing um, some good results in those areas. But when your youth is renewed, it is the whole package. So here we go to the store. I'm stopping at PetSmart because we are making the transition for Tabitha from the dog treats we bought at PetSmart to Carnivore Crisps. And I'm trying to see if I really am getting a value. So I'm gonna look for treats here that is just meat, salt, water. That's what I'm looking for. And it's about $11 for five ounces. So I'm gonna see, is it comparable or even can I find something comparable here at PetSmart as far as dog treats go. Okay, this kind of looks on the outside kind of like a carnivore crisp. It is $15 for 8.2 ounces. This is Kala Chews Natural Dog Treats, Beef and Collagen, Raw High Free, I like that, Grass-Fed Cattle. 
All right, let's see what the other ingredients are. Beef, source of collagen, chicken, rice flour, tapioca, agar agar, glycerin, ascorbic acid, natural brown caramel color, and natural smoke flavor. So yeah, not the same. Okay, the next option is $11 for 6.7 ounces. This is Smart Bones, the healthy alternative to rawhide. Half a rack of ribs. Let's see what else is in there. It's got chicken, rice flour, starch, cassava starch, glycerin, pork, calcium carbonate, peanut butter, sorbitol, egg yolk powder, natural smoke flavor, caramel color, vitamin E supplement, rosemary extract, and FD&C red number 40. I think the coloring is more for us than it is for Tabitha. Okay, next up, this one is $10 for 6.6 .6 ounces. It's the Dentally Dog Chews Raw High Free Wrapped Savory Snacks. Let's see what's in them. Oh my gosh, the first ingredient is corn. Then deboned chicken sorbitol. Why does my dog need sorbitol? Glycerin, peas, pumpkin, pork gelatin, fructose, barley, malt syrup, maltodextrin, carrot, salt, potassium sorbate, sodium pyrophosphate, sodium propanate, beta carotene, sodium tripolyphosphate, ferrous sulfate, zinc sulfate, paprika, vitamin E supplement, calcium pantothenate, vitamin B12 supplement, niacinamide riboflavin supplement. Gosh, yeah, I do not want her eating this. Okay, so Dentley's does have another dog chew. It says grain and gluten-free. This is four ounces, all right. $47.99 though, that's a lot of money. Let's see what you're getting with this. Beef pizzle, okay. So, um, and it's a chew. It's not, it's not necessarily a treat or food, but at least um, we're getting all natural and nothing added to it. But $48 is kind of a lot. Okay, so I've come over to the fancier freeze-dried food options to see if I can find something comparable to carnivore crisps. And I'm taking a look at this Instinct Raw Meals. It's $5 for two ounces. I'm assuming it's just freeze-dried meat but it is not. So you've got beef, beef lever, beef kidney, beef spleen, that's all good. But then you've got carrots, apples, sweet potatoes, butternut squash, just a lot of stuff. Um, rosemary extract. I don't see my, my dog running after blueberries necessarily. So I'm not really sure how much of this is meat and how much of this is extra stuff. Gotta stop by the adorable cat adoption area and see all of these cuties. It reminds me of when we got Charity. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh, I totally want to take you home with me. Look, you're going over there. Look how cute they are. Oh my gosh. Look at this beautiful face. Walmart already has some non-candy options for trick-or-treat out. I'm gonna start making my bag soon, so they're just good to go. You made it home. It's been an interesting day. Really? I ejected a six-year-old for throwing a punch. Okay. It was, it, so that's where we're at. So the two kids were jostling back and forth, and then all of a sudden I see the one kid, like, he falls on top of the other kid, stands up over him, and just punches him in the face. And I throw a flag, and I was like, oh, I really got to reject the six-year-old. I'm like, okay, maybe I can just get the coach to take him out of the game. But no, the league rep from the other team said, by rule, he's yeah, ejected. Take him out. So we ejected him, and then, like, it was funny because this one guy who is, like, one of the members of the executive board for the whole league, he comes over, he's like, see, you ejected a six-year-old, huh? I'm like, I know. Not the highlight of my week. No, it's a first for me. And then later on, we had a coach start arguing with me and tell me in another game. And he told me that we were incompetent. So he got a flag. And then I said, now you need to walk away. 
and uh, he decided to start dropping some f bombs at us. We had to eject him. Other than that, it was a great day. Other than we, two ejections, two ejections. But we got out of there only fifteen minutes late, so I will take that. Yeah. One of my crew members is doing all eight games. Bless his that heart. That is a long day. It's 8 really a.m. to about 9.30 p.m. on an AstroTurf field. And right as we were leaving, it started getting hot. Oh, man. So uh, then I get home and Rachel's like, oh, did you remember we have to do kids ministry? You, you didn't put kids ministry up yet. I'm like, oh. So that kids ministry, lunch, um, Patreon live stream, and keto on the couch. Oh, yeah. I forgot about all that. Oh, and we have this guy who is right now cleaning my car. And that is a well-deserved 50 bucks. Because yes. Because my car is disgusting. And it he is. is out there with a scrub brush on, like, the rugs and everything. So I went out with... Somebody from church who, like, he started a awesome. business. And I'm like, you know what? If I got to pay somebody, I might as well pay you. It was wonderful. We're, we're like, his first client going to homes a mobile unit so we got to caleb and i got to pray with him and his family which was really awesome and then um yeah so i immediately started cleaning your vehicle because i didn't realize your car was getting detailed and he was like um rachel if you clean the vehicle then i'm not cleaning the vehicle so right. like like let me clean the well, vehicle. well he was supposed to do your car first which is what i had told you yeah but it was just, i had come home and get all my well, stuff well that out. was what i was trying to do was i'll clean joe's car and then he can clean my car and he was like no that's not how it works you need to go inside and i thought what it, he's so precious yeah so i'm excited about that because like you know wash wax all that and, and it needs it especially with the south florida sun like every once in a while you have to wax your car or all the paint starts feeling fading off so I'm going to do kids ministry, pull comments. I got the grill going to make lunch and then, and then Patreon live stream at six o'clock. Another busy day. Honey. What? Can I switch you a meat one for a fat? No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. Isn't that from night, uh, night at the Roxbury? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I'm mm. just... Move over. Why is the light off? I won in that trade. Oh, it's because that thing is like angled the wrong way. May Here's I a fork. May I please have flip? Can you pass flip the flask to me, please? There's your flip the flask. Thank you. Okay. In the brief time I was home, I cooked lunch. You did. I finished kids ministry. <laughs> I finished uploading the vlog from yesterday, which I think you're previewing I'm right previewing now. I'm previewing all of the above. Okay, so here's what we've got for now. We've got a burger. Mm -hmm. We've got some bacon ends. This is like our homemade bacon. I just throw all the ends on the Blackstone and kind of grill them all up. So perfect. We got a couple of, I'd say over well, kind of like how Rachel likes them. And uh, then about a serving of our butter mayonnaise. And I picked this up. I had to go to Look Whole at you Foods. fancy. I had to go to Whole Foods and return some Amazon stuff that I kept saying I was going to do and I never, ever did. And I was like, super thirsty. Well, they don't sell like any kind of seltzer water. And this was actually cheaper than buying a bottle of water. So this was like $1.69. So I'm like, okay, that's what it. I'm drinking. You already took all my fat. Now you want to drink my seltzer water? I do. I want some of your fancy Italy water. Is that what this is? From oh, Italy. Italian sparkling water. <sighs> that tastes like water. Continental. <laughs> okay, so how was your day? You t I told you about my day. It's going well. I was glad that I had coffee this morning with my mom. Mm -hmm. Today is actually the seventh anniversary of my dad passing away. Mm -hmm. So on that day, I just like to spend it with my mom, you know, just to have some time together and, and just to reflect on the day. And your mom sent me a really sweet message. And I don't know, there's no expiration date on grief. Mm -hmm. It's not like, okay, well you get used to that person that you love being gone. You don't. It's just another year passing and you you still miss them. So mm -hmm. I miss my dad, but I'm really thankful for the week that we've had. I'm thankful that we're on this challenge and I'm thankful, you know, for extended life. Okay. Well, 
we're gonna finish eating. Then you gotta finish previewing. Mm -hmm. I gotta pull all the comments for keto on the couch. Yep. Then we're gonna do our. I don't know. We're either gonna do our live stream first or our Zoom call, and then keto on the couch depends on how long it takes me to do everything. Oh, and I have to shower. Yes, that is important. These guys are doing such an amazing job on our cars. I love the fact that we're able to bless this family. So this is a husband and a wife and their kids, and they are washing and detailing our cars. Uh, we met them at our church, and I'm so excited because my car is going to actually be clean for once. Are you, you got the whole day in. Oh my gosh. Kids ministry and keto on the couch. And we did have a few snafus that you're going to have to edit. Oh. We didn't do everything perfectly, no, but that's didn't. okay. I'm tired. The consolation prize for all of the Did hard work. Did I have work. to edit it all before I go to bed? No, the consolation was prize was that we got to talk to everybody in Zoom. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. And I actually really like Zoom because then we get to hear everybody else's you know, story and what they're going through. And some of the non-scale victories were just incredible. Yeah, the only reason I'm not a big fan of Zoom is because I feel bad for people who are waiting around instead of us talking and people can just chat amongst themselves. But right. today's Zoom call with all of our Patreon and our channel members went really well. It was so it fun. It was awesome to see everybody's face. I like seeing everybody's face. Yeah. That, that's a real world blessing and, and I just love it. And it did have kind of a chat feature too. Mm -hmm. So they could, you know, communicate, which was nice. Yeah, so it is nine o'clock. I'm probably gonna have another hamburger. Are you gonna have a hamburger? I'm trying yeah. to decide if I wanna eat. So I had a after lunch. I want it, I'm really hungry, but I have so much work to do. I, but I haven't had that much to eat today. Well, I had one other hamburger today, but I'm like I'm hungry. Like I'm a legit hungry. So I've had what, like we had a hamburger on our plate and then I had another hamburger. Right. But I, I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna eat something, maybe an egg or something like that. Well, let us know how you're doing with beef, butter, bacon, and egg. Now, it'll be interesting because tomorrow we're taking it on the road. <laughs> taking this show on the road. It'll be really interesting because tomorrow is Sunday and uh, we have church in the morning. And then this is again, normally a day that we would be doing keto chow and we don't have keto chow to fall back on. No. And literally, as soon as church is over, get in the car. We need to get in the car and get out of here to get to the keys because we have to get to the park to because we're staying at a state park before they close. And depending on traffic, it could take like three hours, three and a half hours to get there. So we're cutting it close. But That's we, just us. we choose Sundays over Mondays because I don't want to drive through Miami with my trailer uh during rush, rush hour, hour or just on on a work day it's just not a good thing going north coming home is fine but going down there it's i don't want to deal with that because when we come home we come home in the middle of the day yeah you know so yeah and so i'm gonna try to make sure we have a bunch of food prepared that we can like literally in the car eat on the yeah. way down and then when we get down there maybe set up the blackstone and cook something but we're going to vlog it. So long as we have internet, the vlog will go up each day. Yeah. And if for some reason we can't get it uploaded, then what we'll simply do is like combine them all and you'll have like a nice long one. We're hopeful that we have internet. We had internet last time we yeah. went down there. It just took a lot longer to upload it, which is good for you guys because that means that the vlog has to be shorter so it doesn't take 12 hours to upload. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna have a burger. We've got some burgers. We'll put a picture of what we eat here. Um, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the other videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon, and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Till tomorrow. Bye. Bye.